What is up, all you beautiful peeps? Welcome back to the channel. The drama or kind of drama does continue around Ninja. If you guys missed it over the past couple of days, we broke down the response from Ronaldo and, of course, the initial roasting that Ninja gave Ronaldo live on Tim the Tatman's stream. It was a lot of back and forth and certainly blown up, especially when Ronaldo himself did respond. And in case you guys are just now finding out about this, uh, a bit of a TLDR of what Ninja said about Ronaldo on stream. After probably a couple too many drinks, what he said was in jest and was jokes, was not taken the same way by Ronaldo. I mean, the thing with YouTube is anyone can make any accounts. Yeah, I don't think that's actual Ronaldo. Yeah. Also, also, Ronaldo is like literally Ronaldo. like one twentieth of our following and is completely irrelevant. So we should probably just keep opening games. <laughs> I love Ronaldo. Ronaldo, yeah, why you, why you that's not him? He, he tried to be an IRL streamer and failed miserably. So he's you know that's not Ronaldo. It's can't be the same. Is that Ronaldo? If it's Ronaldo, we love you. It's not the same. I don't think it's a. I don't think it's a real one. I don't know why Ty cooked. I don't know why Ty was cooking like that. We thought you were a fake. Sorry. Hey Ronaldo, man, keep up on those you know real videos, bro. You're killing it. I didn't know that it was actually Ronaldo. We listen. The worst part about YouTube is anyone can copy anyone's name. Hey Ronaldo peaked when he was fucking playing Fortnite. I'll say it. I mean, we, Am I the only one that's actually gonna sit here and say it? Dude, I, I mean, mean we we all now he's trying, every, he's trying to get, did. there's we highs and lows. And he's trying to get into highs, drama. Highs and lows. Hey, Ronaldo, you're better than drama, dude. All right, get back into the fucking competitive scene. Ah. You're washed. I, what? I said it, dude. How does that make sense? I, 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 I said what I said, bro. I think, I think Ronaldo is no, a good gamer. You're And then about a day or two later, it's Ronaldo after tweeting on his burner and saying how he was pretty upset. You know, he was a fan of Ninja early on in the H1Z1 days, early on in Fortnite. Well, Ronaldo had a, uh, a heated response. A lot of people saw this one as he fired back and he fired back pretty freaking heavy. In case you guys missed it, here's a... Uh, Kind of a summary of what he said, but he said a, a lot. Like it was, it was a lot. Prepare your ears. You're better than drama, dude. All right, get back into the fucking competitive scene. Ah. You're washed. I, correct me if I'm wrong, you blue-haired fuck. But I'm 90% sure the word fell off was created after your fucking career. If I'm not mistaken, I actually genuinely believe people started using that terminology when you stopped fucking streaming. Correct me if I'm wrong, though, because I never heard of that until Ooh. someone who had 225k average viewers playing with Drake, partying with Travis Scott, and then immediately goes down to 3k viewers unless he streams Fortnite, which he'll get 10, which is amazing. But for 20 million followers, I guess not. But apparently, I fell off, and my peak was Fortnite. Yo, good luck for the sub. Making fun of me. For a thousand viewers, let's say, you are not only making fun of me, but you're making fun of people who have less than a thousand viewers, when a thousand viewers is like 0.001% of Twitch. When I first started fucking streaming, I had 300, 200 viewers, okay? Keep in mind, I decided to stay on Twitch when I got offered $18,000 a month from Facebook Gaming, when I was 15, 16, Ooh. to 200 viewers, right? I decided... I wasn't making no money. I decided to stay on Twitch because I believed in myself while well, you sold out, said fuck all your viewers, fuck your community, and sold out for $50 million on a dead fucking platform because all you give a fuck is about money. That's why you're projecting on me because you're a little bitch. That's why. You are a little fucking pussy. I don't give a fuck. You know, fuck it. My manager, Justin, told me, fuck it, he's catching straight still. He told me to keep it cool, but I can't because you are coming at my community now. You are coming at my community. You are coming at my manager for believing me because he manages me. He believes in my opportunity to grow. He believes in me to become a be better person. So now you're coming at my manager, my community, and... Matter of fact, you coming at me way too hard. When you had a thousand viewers on H1Z1 in 2016, 2015, I was fucking 13 years old supporting you. I was watching you. So if you complain about a thousand viewers, that means you don't give a fuck about that. You don't give a fuck about anybody. All you care about is the fucking money. That's why I decided to get out of Fortnite because I don't give a fuck about that. My community hated when I played Fortnite, but you need to latch yourself onto that fucking game because you know when you try not to, it don't go your way. You know that. It's corny. I never said anything about you ever. 
Uh, dude, I already reached out to him and apologized for the, uh, I mean, he, you know, Ronaldo wasn't ready for the, for the, for the level of banter that me and the boys dish at each other. I'm not your fucking boy. I've never been your boy. You just came at, bro, I'm going to use the same analogy like I use. It's like you go to someone's concert and they fucking put the spotlight on you and they call you broke and they call you a loser in front of 30,000 people. You would feel some type of way. I'm not your fucking boy. Boys don't say that. Do y'all say that about your boys? The only thing I could think of was like, oh my- But at the end of it, you, you kind of understood where Ron was coming from. You know, at least that's what my perspective was. Did he kind of take it too far, Ron and his response? Maybe, but it was Ninja that fired first, completely unprovoked, after Ron came into Tim the Tatman's chat and simply said, hi. And that is what Ninja caused Ninja to go on and, and say all these jokes. Beyond that, though, you, you add the context of Ron being a fan, never had said anything rude about Ninja, and, and, a, and a lot of other things where... Yeah, you feel bad for the kid being called out on Tim the Tatman's stream in front of 30,000 viewers live. He was being joked at for seemingly no reason. So Ron certainly had the right to respond and respond he sure did. It was also someone else that was briefly mentioned during this whole rant, that being Myth, who is now on YouTube, another fellow Fortnite creator who saw an immense blow up as many did during those peak Fortnite days. Ninja mentioned him for a couple of seconds. It was just one remark about Myth's moved to YouTube that apparently, uh, according to Ninja, has not been doing well in terms of concurrent viewership live on stream. Here's what Ninja said in that brief moment. And now Myth has also responded on this. He responded initially about these remarks and, and said how apparently it's not the first time Ninja has said these kind of things about him. As he saw the clip and said, it's crazy having someone that experienced such massive ups and downs in their career and knows exactly what it does to you mentally to be crapping on others that aren't as successful as he is. And then he followed up with this by saying, Ninja reached out and apologized. Although I didn't accept his apology, I have no animosity towards him and don't want anyone hating on my behalf. Have a good day, everyone. And a ton of people were wondering, okay, so if, if he apologized and you announced it, why did you also announce that you're not accepting the apology, which Myth later uh, replies to saying this is not the first time that Ninja had apparently said poor things about him and he was actually sober the last time he did. So that makes a lot of sense why he would not want to accept the apology. Still, there were some people confused as to why you would announce this in the first place. Uh, yeah, a bit of a confusing statement, but I'm not in this shoes. I don't know what it's like to be trash talked multiple times by the same person, you know, and then have to try and accept that apology and or not. You guys can feel how you do uh, about the miss situation, but that's what he has to say about it. Apparently not the first time Tyler has spoken bad about him and he does not want to accept the apology, but he doesn't have any hate in his heart or animosity towards the guy and uh, wants the beef to be over with which it most likely is for now. So after all of this situation, uh, I don't think we'll see Ninja joking too much on stream about other streamers for quite some time. That's probably sure. But what do you guys think about it? You know, Ninja giving the mini roast of Ronaldo, Ronaldo responding, also talking about Myth during that. Ninja did, and, and Myth not accepting the apology. We'll see where all three of these go in the future. Will they ever make up? I, I hope so. But uh, yeah, till next time. This is here because I'm currently live on stream and uh, they, they need to hear me do this. So, you know, till next time, take care of yourselves. Water, coffee. I'm going to go get mine, and I'll see you back here sometime soon.